is injected at the end of compression stroke and the fuel pressure will be 200 to 1500 bar. The fuel is injected into the cylinder. In So guys, the topic of today's discussion is four stroke marine diesel engine. Well, we'll be explaining the entire concept of four stroke engine, the principle and the entire functioning of the four stroke marine diesel engine. And yeah guys, if you have not watched my previous video regarding two stroke marine diesel engine, you can go to my description below and watch it. And yeah guys, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and press on the bell icon for future notifications. Guys, let's not waste in time and move on to our topic, Marine 4-stroke diesel engine. Marine 4-stroke diesel engine. As the name implies, there will be 4-stroke of the engine piston. That means 2-time piston going up and 2-time piston going down. As we are engineers, we are supposed to talk in a technical language. So, 2 revolution of the crankshaft give 1 power stroke. That's what it is. The actual valve timing differs from engine to engine and it depends upon engine design and engine construction and various factors such as engine power, engine RPM, engine rating, etc. So now let's analyze the valve timing of 4 stroke engine. As I have told you earlier, it varies from engine to engine depending upon engine construction and engine design. Now you can see the valve timing of typical 4 stroke engine in my screen. Inlet valve opens at 20 degree before TDC. Inlet valve closes at 60 degree after BDC. Injection begins 10 degree before TDC. Injection ends 12 degree after TDC. Exhaust valves open 42 degree before PDC. And last but not the least, exhaust valve closes at 60 degree after TDC. So guys, now let's analyze the four stroke of the engine piston that is suction, compression, power and last but not the least exhaust stroke. So the first stroke is suction stroke. The piston moves downward and the pressure difference between cylinder pressure and the atmospheric pressure is being created above the piston. Atmospheric air is sucked inside the cylinder through open inlet valve. Here the atmospheric air rushes inside the cylinder because of the pressure difference. The air admission is stopped when the inlet valve closes. The cylinder pressure is now approximately about 0.85 to 0.95 bar and there will be corresponding temperature of 37 to 48 degrees Celsius. Whatever the data I am saying, it may be varying from engine to engine depending upon the construction and design features. Now happens the second stroke that is compression stroke. This stroke includes compression of the air, the mixing of fuel and air charge and guess what? Start of combustion. The air inside the cylinder is now compressed since inlet valve and exhaust valve are closed and the piston is moving upwards from BDC to TDC. The air in the cylinder is now pressurized to 32 to 45 bar and there will be corresponding rise in temperature as well that is to 700 degree celsius. The fuel is injected at the end of compression stroke and the fuel pressure will be 200 to 1500 bar. The fuel is injected into the cylinder in the form of fine atomized spray and this fine atomized spray of fuel mixes with the high temperature air and it self ignites upon reaching the self ignition temperature. Note guys the fuel timing is around 10 to 35 degree of the crankshaft rotation. The optimum condition for fuel injection is when the fuel injection coincides with the peak air temperature in the cylinder for better and best combustion. At the end of combustion, the temperature inside the cylinder will be around 1600 to 2000 degrees Celsius and the corresponding pressure of 60 to 80 bar. Boom! Now comes the third stroke that is our expansion stroke or power stroke. In the expansion stroke, the work is done by the expansion of the gas which pushes the piston downwards to the crank pin through connecting rod, converting the reciprocating motion of the engine to rotary motion. 
Here basically the reciprocating linear motion of the engine piston is being converted to rotary motion of the crankshaft. After expansion the pressure in the cylinder will be around 3.5 to 5 bar and there will be corresponding temperature of 750 to 900 degrees Celsius. Now let's analyze the final stroke of the piston that is exhaust stroke. When the piston nears BDC the exhaust valve opens and all the exhaust gas escapes out. The exhaust gas escapes out of the cylinder because of the pressure difference. The pressure in the cylinder is more as compared to pressure in the exhaust manifold. So guys, because of the pressure difference, the exhaust gas escapes out of the cylinder to the exhaust manifold. The exhaust gases are now expelled out of the engine cylinder and the piston now starts moving from BDC to TDC. The pressure of the gas now further decreases to 1.1 to 1.2 bar and there will be corresponding drop in temperature as well that is to 430 to 530 degrees Celsius. I really hope that I have talked enough about 4 stroke marine diesel engine. And yeah guys I have even talked about the 4 stroke of the piston that is suction, compression, power and exhaust stroke. If you find this video useful share with your friends and yeah guys do press the like button for my motivation. And yeah guys consider subscribing my channel and press on the bell icon for future notifications. As subscribing my channel and commenting down below in the comment section makes a huge impact in improvising my youtube channel and videos. So that's it for today's episode. See you in another episode of Marina Shian. So guys thank you and have a nice day. So hey, subscribe my channel guys. I am about to reach 1000 subscribers. So guys this is official sign off. Very official.